Hello students, today we will see the problem on mesh analysis or loop analysis. So in this lecture we will see the problem on loop analysis. In last lecture we will see the steps to solve the problem of loop analysis. So here firstly uh, I will draw a one circuit which consists of number of loops or mesh. So for this circuit there are two resistance the value I will put it 1 ohm 1 ohm and the third resistance again it is 1 ohm for this there are the two voltage sources are there so for this one I will mention as a plus minus plus minus V1 equal to 1 ohm V2 equal to 1 ohm again for this loop the current is flowing from where to where that is from plus to minus so here I will mention as a loop number 1 I1 for this the current is flowing from where to where plus to minus so I will mark the direction of current that is I2 ok so listen here after identifying the number of loops here two number of loops are there so number of equations must be equal to the number of loops are there okay so for this one for first loop the i1 is a major current and for the second loop i2 is a major current so current is flowing from this one for in one ohm resistance there are the two currents i1 is entering and i2 is leaving so here for this one i will mention i1 minus sorry two currents are entering that I1 is from this side, I2 is from this side. So I1 plus I2. Okay. And for this loops, the current is again. So here major current is I2 plus I1. Here I1 plus I2. Okay. So firstly, I will drop it. And draw it again. So for this current is flowing from plus to minus and here again the current is flowing like this one here I1 here I2 is there so for this side the major current is I1 I1 plus I2 and for this one I2 plus I1 so here V1 equal to 1 ohm sorry V1 equal to 1 ohm here we have V2 equal to 1 ohm so there so apply second step apply TVL for first loop so start from here it is plus to minus plus to minus like this one the current is flowing so for one ohm the current is flowing is I1 so 1 into I1 plus after flow the current is flowing like this one again it will come 1 into just check the value of current that is I1 plus I2 again it will come here so it is minus 1 equal to 0 so here 1 into i1 is i1 plus i1 plus i2 this one will become on other side 1 volts so here 2 i1 plus i2 equal to 1 volts so this is the first equation so i will write down here 2 i1 plus i2 equal to 1 volts similarly i have to apply the kvl for second loops so in second loop again the current is flowing like this one plus to minus plus to minus so here 1 into i2 plus 1 into i2 plus i1 equal so it will come like this one minus 1 volt equal to 0 so i2 plus i2 plus i1 equal to this one will be on the other side that is a 1 volt so 2 i2 plus i1 equal to 1 this is equation number second so here 2 i2 plus i1 equal to 1 ok so what we will do we have to multiply equation so here 
it is in terms of i1 i2 this will be in terms of i2 i1 so i will write down this in i1 plus 2 i2 equal to 1 so always remember you should write down the equation in terms of i1 i2 and i3 forms so here i have to multiply this equation by 2 and this equation by sorry i don't have to multiply this equation i have to multiply by this 2 and subtract so here this is second this is first so multiply second equation by 2 and subtract from 1 subtract from 1 so second one is this one 2 i1 plus 4 i2 equal to 2 and subtract from 1 i1 plus i2 equal to 1 so this is 2 and this one is first so we have to subtract this will cancel so here it will be subtractions so 3 i2 equal to 1 so i2 equal to what 1 by 3 amperes so put this put in first equation so first equation is this one so i will check it 2 i1 plus i2 equal to 1 so 2 i1 plus i2 is what 1 by 3 equal to 1 so 2 i1 equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 so 3 minus 1 divided by 3 2 by 3 i1 equal to okay so i1 equal to what 2 by 3 so 2 i1 equal to 2 by 3 so i1 equal to what 2 this 2 will come on another side 2 by 6 and 2 so i will get the value of i2 and i1 here so similarly student will also solve the one more problems so i will mark the direction of current student will solve it at your homes So again there are three resistance we will mention 3 ohm 3 ohm 6 ohm so here plus minus plus minus so it is 9 volt this is 6 volt so for this circuit the student must find out the value of i1 and i2 so here i will mark the direction of current this is i1 and this is a I2 here I1 plus I2 and for this I2 plus I1 so student must find out the value of I1 and I2 thank you